Hello everyone, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video tutorial, I am sharing one awesome uh, feature about Microsoft Power Query. Uh, but before I proceed, let me tell you that what the query is all about and uh, which is better. Either a user use Excel formula to solve this query or the user must learn Power Query and handle these kind of issues in Power Query directly. So this query is related about how we can extract dates from uh, text cells or you can say from the sentences and uh, the dates are located anywhere in a cell. So if you can see this uh, data, so the first sentence states that financial statements dated December 31st, 2018. Now in this particular sentence, the date is at almost right side of a cell. If we read the next sentence, which says that deposits on 10th slash 5 slash 2018 were 25 million. Now in this particular sentence, the date in, is in the middle portion of the sentence. Similarly, if there is one more sentence, which says that 01 slash 01 2016 will be observed as national holiday. Now in this particular case, the date is uh, on the very left side of the sentence, right? Now there is a, a formula a user can build in order to extract the dates from uh, these sentences where they are located anywhere inside the cell, right? And this will definitely take a longer time as compared to the Power Query. And in this particular specific video, my aim is to motivate and make sure that the Excel users should learn the modern Power BI tools available in Microsoft Excel because that's in demand in the industry as well. Uh, definitely you can solve this with the help of Excel formulas in a traditional way, but it takes longer time. And uh, I will be quickly uh, adding one formula here for the solution, but my main purpose is to guide you about the Power Query that the beginner level users of Excel or the intermediate level of uh, users of Excel can easily learn Power Query. And it will save a lot of time in form of uh, the challenges you face at your workplace regarding the data transformation. Okay, so for example, if, if I want to uh, extract dates in this kind of a scenario where I have a lot of data available and the dates are not on a specific position. So every time uh, the things are being changing. So let me add a formula here. So let me start with if error. Then I will add date value. So as a primary basic Excel user, I hope that you came across all these kind of uh, primarily functions in Excel available. So I'm creating a formula here to solve my this query. Okay, so after left, I will add the right function and then I will call this cell comma then len function again referring to a particular cell minus find find uh, the find text is the slash which is uh, you can see available in all kind of dates right uh, within cell bracket close minus three then we will close some brackets okay then comma then we will close some more brackets here and then invert it okay so when i press enter the result is here and now i will just uh, press Control D shortcut key for copy and paste the results downwards. Now you can see that uh, in a sentence date of birth question mark what is that now? So there is no date available and definitely there is uh, no da date uh, fetch from this sentence because if error uh, there. So if I don't uh, put if error here, so it will generate an error here so that uh, now there is no date in a sentence. So it is not uh, generating any kind of error. Now you can see the length of this particular formula. And if you are uh, a very much experienced user of Excel, uh, might be you, you might be capable of uh, creating these kind of complex formulas at very first attempt, right? But there are a lot of users who, who will take a lot of time in creating this kind of a logic. And uh, I know that at this point of time in, in this uh, video, there might be a questions in your coming in your mind that what is the logic of combining find function, len function, write function, date value function, right? So this is all about how you are going with the experience in Excel with your 
relative approach of creating complex formulas. But this is not uh, workable for every kind of user and user wants that a solution where he can save a time and he can do some smart working, right? So if you face a challenge and if you even don't aware about the power query, what you will do, you will go to Google and try to find out some, some of the solutions available on forums in the past years and, and you will copy that particular formula and then you will trying to modify until you get the solution right so normally what user does is he or she will go to the youtube they will find some appropriate video to solve their challenge or they will go to google and then they will spend 30 minutes one hour and later on they they need to modify that so you can see that within five minutes of work or within just two minutes of work is taking your one hour two hour even more than that at, at the workplace so it's better if you don't like to create these kind of complex formulas and it's definitely a time consuming not for every user but most of the users so my advice is to you that it's the perfect time to learn power query in microsoft excel that will help you to clean the data to transform the data and to again load the data and if you want to do more advanced analytics so you should learn power pivot data analysis expressions in microsoft excel right so this is very important uh, a user to become a modern excel user rather than going for a traditional traditional way is not uh, wrong but definitely uh, this is one of the example a comparison example between what to select either we go with the excel formula and spend a lot of time in that or we can go for the modern power bi modern bi tools uh, in as such as power query right okay now let's say if i don't want to use this complex formula and, and i want a quick solution so let's go and explore power query now first i will select this entire data and i will go to the insert tab and I will convert this normal range data into a table format. So to convert that either you can press a shortcut key control T or just you can go to insert and click on table and make sure you have check mark on my table as headers, right? So once your data is being converted into a table format, now you have to go to data tab and here we have a group that is called get and transform data. So I will click on from sheet and it will open a new window, which is the power query editor. All right, so now we are in the Power Query Editor window and uh, now here comes some magic and the power of this tool. So we need to basically extract the dates from different uh, locations or the positions from each of these sentences. So I will click on Add Column tab and here we have a feature that is called Column from Examples. So I will click on that and I will click from Selection here. So a new column at the very right side will be available for you. So just double click on that column one heading and you can rename that header. So let me write dates here. And in the first cell, I will double click again and I will write what I need to extract from this first sentence. So I need to manually write the first date that is 12 slash 31 slash 2018, right? And when I press enter, so now the intelligence of this uh, particular column or the feature which is column from examples is trying to fetch the trying to basically read what the user wants but it's still not giving the appropriate results so we need every time we need to define some two or three manual uh, outcomes for this particular column so that it can recognize what actually the user is trying to fetch from the from the data column so i will again uh, try to add one more debt manually so i will go for the fourth sentence and i will write 01 slash 01 2016 right and as soon as i press enter key now you can see that the uh, the transformation and the extraction is being now appropriately coming correctly from this uh, column from examples feature so we don't have date here so it's it's a blank we have a date here right uh, we need to also correct this as well so every time if you have now you can think with a perspective that if you have a very big data for example 10,000 of column rows and 20,000 of rows so you need to define some 7 to 8 random uh, manual outcomes for this particular column so that it could recognize that in intelligence what the actually users trying to fetch from from that particular data right so now we ha we have got all the dates 
and we have not used imagine that what we are trying to do in excel with the traditional formula is, is to write a complex formula which takes a lot of time here we are just doing two three samples with the data set and it's uh, automatically fetching out the dates from a data set right so there is no kind of time consuming thing in this power query now, once we are done with this i will go to i will just click on ok and uh, now you can see that your dates are coming here uh, you can also change the format for example i don't want this abc text style i just want it as to be a date right so it will go on the right side and i will just go to the home tab and click on close and load so it will open a new spreadsheet for me uh, with a data set in the transform column all right see how easy it was right so now without using any formula any complex formula and taking time or going to the google in in doing searching for that we have minimized that time so this is the power of power query and this is just in one example of uh, uh, becoming a good user in power query for the data transformation now later on what if that uh, my data gets append and i got i i get the new sentences here so i will go to other sheet and i will copy i have already created some additional sentences so that i can experiment so i have copied all those sentences and, and i will paste just below this last row and now uh, this table is automatically definitely added new three sentences now i will go to my transform data and here you don't see that additional uh, data has been updated so for that you need to just go to the data tab and click on refresh that's it the dates has been com uh, coming out automatically and if there is no date in the sentence there is no date even in the co dates column as well right so see this uh, whatever you do in the power query it, it gets automated so for the next time if your data gets append you don't have to worry about you just need to go to data tab and click on refresh that's the beauty so i i think within one minute within two three minutes uh, you will be able to create this kind of a transformation with your data sets rather than going for a traditional way and uh, thinking about the formula and consuming a lot of time so i hope this clears and this tells you about a technique which we learn in this video tutorial that is extracting the dates from text located anywhere in a cell thank you